Hello, good evening. God bless you, guide you. Thank you so much for joining us for Port Ministries for the Power of Dreams uh, Ministries. We praise God for this day. We praise God for this year, and we praise God for most importantly next year and the next couple of days. If we say we are literally in the last days, this is the last. These are definitely the last days. But we praise God. We give God all the glory. Today we're going to talk about. Why it's become so common for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit and the power of God amongst believers. A lot of people are looking at it like there are so many churches, like it's a bad thing. No, it's actually a good thing. And why people are having a personal revelation. People have, have got that sense of feeling that they have a relationship with God and they have a, a personal walk with God. And sometimes that can be misdirected in saying okay you know what i don't need to go to church now because i know god and um yeah we do things and we talk and i don't need everyone i don't need anyone or any help so it's brought a sense of um self-religion or what i can say is the best way for it is pride because you have to understand the second commandment said love your neighbor as you love yourself so god already put it in his plans that no one should live alone especially in the area of his love for us in grace, in Bible study, in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's not a one-man show. Even Jesus, Jesus the Son, did not walk this life alone. I mean, God have just you know, told him, hey, be created, he would have. But that's not how God wants us to share his love. Okay, before I digress, Joel 2, Joel 2, 28. You can go down to even about, um, you can start actually from 27, 27, 28, and 29. You start from 27. And, it shall, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. God is not And the people, and what is God saying? God is saying, listen, in the last days, people should know that God is with you as a believer. People should know that God is manifesting himself on your path in your life. How is he going to manifest in your path or in your life? That's easy. Verse 28 now explains it. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days I will pour out my spirit. Praise God. Praise God. So what is God saying literally now? God is really saying, listen, I will pour out my spirit capital letter spirit and this is the foundation of the power of dreams group we believe god speaks to us through dreams and visions we believe god is manifesting himself in our lives through the holy spirit especially when you are born again born born again of of the spirit and born again obviously of water when you get baptized when you accept jesus christ but our focus is born again of the holy spirit because born again of the holy spirit it's not about what what church you go to what religion or what, what you did in the past. It's the Holy Spirit choosing to turn you and show you and convict you personally that God exists. Okay? Now let's look at the key words here. It shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So prophesying, a, a Christian, Christians to a certain level can prophesy, but it doesn't mean you are called. To open a church because now everyone is opening churches because they feel like it or because they say okay because i can prophesy that means i can lead the flock that's another thing that's another type of ministry your ministry is your personal assignment that's why we believe in dreams and visions god will reveal to you your assignment dreams and visions through dreams and visions okay your old men shall dream dreams old men and women dream a dream you are in a dream dreaming of a dream why? Because God wants to show you 
what's happening in the spiritual realm, especially in these last days, full of deception, full of media influencers. I mean, they are literally called media influencers, so we should be expectant of that. Full of the truth being told as a lie, the lie being told as a truth. That's why in the last days, you need the Holy Spirit. So the next couple of days, we're going to be revising the anchor scriptures of the Power of Dreams group. You can never get enough of it. The Bible goes beyond us. You can read a verse today and think, oh my gosh, I, I know everything, but it's not like that. Every day can get a revelation, and I feel like it's very important for us to go through the scriptures. Okay? So it's all, it's all ages, all races, poor, rich, whatever, whatever sex or classes, God is pouring out his Holy Spirit on everyone. He wants a personal relationship with everyone. And that's why there's a revival. I believe you have to understand, just think about it. Last century, the early, uh, the early, 19, the early 1900s, sorry, there was a lot of revival. There was a lot of change going on. And this century, there's going to be a lot of change going on. It's going to be normal to, to do certain things, to talk to God, to speak in tongues, to do all these kind of things. That is to our merit as Christians and as believers. So I'm just going to pray for everyone in this group and everyone who's watching us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for pouring out your Holy Spirit on your people. Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Father, we thank you for opening our eyes and our ears. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for blessing and protecting us, for guiding us and moving us from glory to glory and from healing to healing. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your light shineth and that darkness not comprehend. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for heaven and earth are yours, and nothing shall pass away unless you will it to pass away. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your plans, Lord God Almighty, have been revealed through us through dreams and visions. Lord God Almighty, I pray for everyone in this group, everyone who's watching this, that tonight they shall remember their dreams and their visions. In Jesus' name we pray, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Praise God. God is on your side. God is guiding you. God is lifting you. Please feel free to reach out. Feel free to share. Feel free to comment. Remember, the Christian walk is not a lonely walk. The Christian walk is for us to walk together. I believe in even some cases, I think no one can individually make it. This is my personal opinion. No one can individually make it to heaven alone. We need other people around us because your strength is my weakness and my weakness is your strength. God bless you. God guide you. And have a good